can't even I'm so slow it doesn't even matter everything slowed down to a crawl I've been watching Rick and Morty it's been hilarious maybe they know what it is to be drunk multiple times Do a piece to a brain that is so slow right now. No shame, right? I am shamed a little bit. I don't want my ex-wife or my kids to ever hear this. It's not like I'll be truthful or anything. It's just that... Embarrassing. But I guess, I guess truth is embarrassing sometimes. And sometimes I have to just talk. Uh, who cares? Doesn't even matter. I'm just a screw up. It's okay. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to get something out there for my blog. It's not coming. This is what you get, right? This is what happens when you get drunk. You slow down too much. You can't even talk. So you start slurring your words. And nothing makes sense and everything starts passing by really slow. But why do other people get mad about that? It's just, it's just slowness. I don't know what they're getting mad about. All you have to think about is whoever is getting drunk is getting really slow right now. They're trying to slow everything down. They're trying to process things. Everything is just too much. And that's okay. It's okay for right now. Can't handle things at full speed. At double speed, at triple speed, at quadruple speed. You just want to go at regular time. Or half time. Or quarter time. Or no time. Does it really matter? It doesn't really matter. How effing embarrassing is this? It's real. And who's the person to post this? Nobody. I'm the only one. <laughs> I'm the only one to post this. Depravity, this suffering, this this I don't even know what to describe it as. It doesn't even matter. I can't even describe it. 
Why do I want to go to this point? Why do I want to feel? Because that's what I'm doing. Why do I want to get drunk so that I can feel again? Why am I so numb that I have to drink a poison to feel? It doesn't even make sense. It's not even real. It doesn't even matter. It's bull crap. All of it. I know that dopamine is flooding into my synapses. And it's making me cry and I just wonder what's going on. It's like I'm having a flood of emotion and it doesn't even matter. And then when it does matter, I still have a flood of emotion. And it's not positive, it's just negative. But that's, that's the point of life. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm too drunk to care. But nobody else is posting the real crap that they have to go through. So who cares, right? Nobody's watching what's really going on in their life. They're trying to get away. I'm trying to just let it go. I don't know. I don't have anything good to say. <laughs> but that's okay. It really does. If you believe in religion, great. If you don't, try to find something to hold on to. If you feel different than everybody else, welcome to the freaking party. <laughs> don't we all? This society is inflicted whatever this disease is upon us. We just have to learn how to cope with it. I'm sorry that I'm too weak to, to deal with it. I'm sorry that I'm only strong enough to talk about it. And when I get drunk, I'm only strong enough to talk about it to get it posted. I don't even read it. I don't even listen to it. I don't even care about it. I can't even look at it again look at it again because it's another day gone by and I just I just try to move on. I just try to get better. I just try to do something different. Sometimes it's not enough. Sometimes it's the whole difference. But I do feel I do feel that God knows I do feel that God exists. How small-minded would I be to not believe that? I think most people, most philosophers with a big mind would believe that. That there's something more than themselves. Where's the inspiration coming from? How prideful and how selfish it would be if you think that it's just you. Because it's not. It's more than that. Man, I'm drunk. I hope nobody in their right mind listens to this crap, this dribble, this 